Okay, say you wanna design a flowing thing. So in this case, I took this 12 volt pump, like $8, and that's gonna fill up bottles. Uh, it's just more convenient than going over to the other room. It flows about this much, this fast. Oh, that, well, you get the idea. Okay. Okay, we have all these kinds of pumps and they're all cheap, they're easy to hook up. DC or AC, whichever thing I prefer, but the flow rate is just not that intuitive. Usually I could do a lot better if I could see it flowing. Honestly, that's why I built this demonstration. It was just to show the actual flow of water. Well, this is awesome. I've got a script that's, uh, I don't know, 100 lines of code, and it came from ChatGPT5 with one, one prompt, and now, I've got a, I can pause, I can choose, all right, I want 10 liters per minute and the container size is a gallon. And then this is how fast it'll, it'll fill up. And I can make this uh, 20 and look at it go. So you get this visualization, I think, all right. The only question now is where does that thing belong? It's literally like, uh, it's 12 kilobytes. So I'm thinking, all right, we make a 3D model. Now we just drop that visualizer somewhere in the files here. So you can pull that open. It's portable. You can just show it on your phone or on your computer. This isn't my pump. It's just a random pump that you might download. I would be completely content if AI development stopped exactly where it was. The, the tools that we have now, if we would just pause and slow down and pace back through the old things that we wanted in every different scenario. There's a thousand new problems we could solve individually for free, much easier. Um, so let's keep those ideas flowing. I hope you comment or share, uh, share other videos if you get ideas.